What's going on YouTube? I'm Scotch. I'm Sniff. And we're Scotch, Scotch and Sniff. Sniff. And today we're going to be talking about cast straight things. More mm. barrel proof if you're into... Straight from the barrel. Bourbons. But anything that comes straight from the barrel. So... Deliciousness. Let's start with this because it's amazing. The Glendron of cast strength. This thing is a sherry bomb. When people are looking for sherry bombs, this is about as sherry and sweet and delicious and desserty as it gets. Um, right off the nose, Sniff just finished tasting a glass of it. Right off the nose, you get uh, sweet Oloroso, you get figs and honey and toffee, and there's this bready characteristic, kind of yeasty, but it's just, it's full of sherry. The bready characteristic actually, it, it kind of manifests itself on the palate like gingerbread. It's, it's that like warm, almost like butter cookies, you know, that, that amazingly warm, tasty feel of something that just like breaks down in your mouth, but it still has a ton of, of I don't know, I don't want to say meat to it, but it... Like flavor and spice and richness. Yeah, rich. It's not a thin whiskey. This thing is, it's delicious. And uh, the amount of spice that comes through and, and at cast strength, all of these at cast strength really delivers that alcohol really punches up the flavor and like fills your mouth, causes it to just salivate. And I'm salivating right now just talking about it and smelling this open, open glass. It's really funny because a lot of people on who are into like American bourbons and things like that are always like, oh, you need the barrel proof of this or that, or you need the cast strength of this or that. And it's one thing to just be into alcohol, but it's a totally different thing to be into flavors, which, uh, I mean, that's the reason why I don't like the Booker's Rye, which is a whole different issue. But um, let's move on to uh, the second one here, the Lefroy. This Lefroy, man, at cast strength, the Lefroy 10 is just uh, a knockout punch. If you love iodine, if you love salt water that's on fire and that has peak kind of like put underneath it, and as it's being burned, it's creating this like noxious gas and fumes, that's a Lefroy 10. You know, we went to a tasting where people were describing flavors that are in... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm just not a fan. It's not all peated things. There are some peated things that have come out recently that have tasted pretty good. Um, Kilcomen. Wolfburn comes to mind. Kilcomen, yep. There are a couple of good ones. But Lefroy, like, they really seem to harp on the most disgusting flavors ever. And we were at a tasting recently where uh, where people were like, Oh, this tastes like tar, and it tastes like, you know, ash, and, and road, like tires, and things like this. And all I could think to myself was like, that's, that's what you want to drink, really? You want to drink road tar? That, that, that sounds horrible. You? So I, to be 100% transparent and honest, this is obviously Scotch's bottle of Laphroaig because I'm not I probably statistic. own the majority of the Laphroaigs that we have reviews. The Triple Wood. That's good. The triple Wood's good. Quarter Cask is really, really good. This is just probably the strongest. How if you really enjoy cast strength uh, whiskeys and uh, Isla Pete that's more in the iodine richness, this is going to be your, your, I would say bread and butter, but it's more, this is going to be your peat and smoke. Ugh. But if you think that's horrible and you want to go back to tasting amazing sherry, how we mentioned sherry, three of these are totally sherry. The king of sherries, queen of sherries, I don't know what you'd like to call the McAllen, but the McAllen cast strength. It's nigh impossible to find anymore <laughs> and they go for pretty ridiculous prices. Yeah. Um, we got lucky and lucked out to grab three bottles from a guy who just wanted to get rid of some stuff and he found them for cheap. Uh, but they taste absolutely amazing. Delicious. Like, if you love sherry, and I know we say sherry a million times, we'll be saying it four million times in this sherry. video, but if you really love the taste of the sherry that comes across in the McAllen, the calf strength is that on crack. If you love the taste and flavors of the 18, where you've got that sweetness and you've got a little bit of, it doesn't have the chocolate of the 18, but it has all of the sugar that you want from the sherry. Oh my gosh, this bottle. And the viscosity it. too, as oh, it's like yeah. coating your tongue. It's one of those whiskeys that actually coats your tongue. And like it's motor just- oil. And motor oil or like <laughs> a velvet blanket yes. that you would want to drink and not choke on fibers. Velvet, if, you, if you're one of those people who's like, oh man, I have to have me some patties. Like that velvety feel, that's why bottles like this, you know, that's why they're all so lovely. Yeah. Because people love that taste in their mouth. So if you ever find a cast drink McAllen, Grab it. Um, and it has an age statement, 10 year, or just cast drink period, or any variation of this, Grab it and right. mail it to us. We'll put yeah. our PO box yeah. in the details. <laughs> just mail it to us. That's yeah. all we need. And we'll give you a big thumbs up. <laughs> and a shout out in a video. And a shout out, for sure. Excellent. So I hope this happens. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, we've got the uh, the Mictors Barrel Proof, Barrel Strength. Uh, this is their rye. It's So of the entire Mictors line, from the regular bourbon all the way to the 20, a lot of you people don't want to hear this, but this is hands down the best offering that Mictors has, without a doubt. Definitely. This is my number one recommendation when it comes to rye. Uh, 
Murray might like the Booker's, and the Booker's Rye is, is nice. It has a, a, lo a lot of spice, but I think it's just too hot and it's not something that, um, and adding water to it doesn't really help it much. But the Barrel Strength Michter's is like right off the bat. It's got a, a great rye flavor. It doesn't taste too rye bready. It doesn't taste too much like pickles, but it's just like, it's a go-to solid rye that I think other ryes should be compared against. Definitely. Even the Pikesville, which is too sweet, this is like that amazing balance of pour it in a glass, enjoy it, even at barrel strength. And price and accessibility. Like, you yep. can find this in tons of places. Everywhere. And the last one? Tam Dew. This is also another sherry bomb that, that we're really, uh, I guess, big fans of. Um, Tam Dew is all about that can do attitude. Um, but as far as like, the Macallan and the Glendronic and the Tamdu, they all share very uh, nice sherry flavors that are very rich, but the Tamdu I feel as though more goes towards like a fino type of sherry, so there's a little bit more almondy tone in there and a little bit more nutty and not so much as like sweet and viscous. Sometimes this can appear, I guess if you did a tasting between these three, this one would probably be the thinnest of the bunch. A little more dry too. Yeah, and dry. The nature of fino sherry there. Um, yeah, so these are the cast strings that we thought we would bring to you guys today and hopefully you enjoy some of them or all of them or you know don't don't say none of them you're gonna enjoy yeah. some of them yeah enjoy them so uh go ahead and uh i don't know i have no idea <laughs> comment down below and uh we'll see you at the next episode yes the next episode <laughs>